Hey guys, this is number 24. It's um, Church Arise and Report. It was given on 11 21 23. It starts Who is like the Lord? No one. He is faithful and true. He is kindness and patient grace. He is justice and goodness. His plans are higher than our plans, His ways higher than our ways. Rejoice, for the battles have been seen and the church overcomes evil, darkness, and wickedness. Church, arise and report for duty. Pray around the clock. I will sustain all who trade sleep for service. Pray for the lost, the half-borns, and the prodigals. Pray they open their eyes and ears and that their hearts soften. Pray that evil, darkness, and wickedness are bound from them and any chains and bonds that hold them are released. Pray that all that they see and hear in the next phase brings them to true humility and repentance. Pray they turn fully to me and are not susceptible to the deception of the kings. Pray for the mighty angels to be fully empowered with my holy power and to protect them and help them safely to me. Pray and ask rebellion and stubbornness melt away. Pray that these are convicted to think and evaluate the eternal trajectory of their soul. Pray, church, my obedient, faithful loved ones, your consistent love for me and my only son, Jesus, brings me much joy. Your many prayers are restored and cherished. You are surrounded by my holy angels who protect you and I will provide for you miraculously. Have no concerns. You are my frontline warriors in deep faith, awaiting activation. Prepare, take communion, pray, read my word, memorize a few key verses to share with the lost. The miracles provided will be for your safety and so you can testify of me. I rejoice for I have already seen your boldness for me. It will not take the same courage it takes now. The people will be craving knowledge of why and what you have that is different. I will give you my peace and boldness. You will not fail. You will help with the most important task of all times, bringing in the first harvest of the end. You will help those asleep in the church to awaken and fully use my Holy Spirit. Rejoice. You were created for this time. Your frustration with others within the church, not being awake to the times and not believing that the full power of the Holy Spirit, that the Spirit has always been intended for the Christian experience, these days are coming to an end. You will be sought after, for you will be seen as different, and it will be known that I have provided your protections and provisions. Many will quickly change and come with zeal, as they did in the birth of the church in Acts. Rejoice. You are my special jewels and will be blessed for your faith and service. Hold on. Only a short time will be the transitions from regular life to helping in a crisis to being raptured. Keep your eyes on me. No harms will come. Keep your ears listening and be able to drop all to hear. I will guide and direct you. Prepare, my faithful blessed ones. Your calling for my service is now. Pray without ceasing. This ended at 8.52 in the morning. And in the Hebrew, that's a sign. And it's always a sign that is from God that deals with wonders or miracles. Okay? It's only used in Daniel about God's miracles. Then in the Greek, it's a word that is unseen or hidden. Um, it's only used in Hebrews 4.13. So this is pretty cool. Here's the verses for number 24. Hebrews 4.13 Let us therefore be diligent to enter that rest, lest anyone fall according to the same example of disobedience. For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of the soul and spirit and of joints and marrow. And it is a discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart. And there is no creature hidden from his sight, but all things are naked and open to the eyes of him who we must give account.
Isaiah 55, 8 through 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Malachi three sixteen to 18. Then those who feared the Lord spoke to one another, and the Lord listened and heard them. So a book of remembrance was written before him, and for those who feared the Lord, and who meditate on his name. They shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts, on the day that I make them my jewels, and I will spare them, as a man spares his own son who serves him. Then you shall again discern between the righteous and the wicked, between the one who serves God and the one who does not serve him. 1 Corinthians 3, 9 through 17. For we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field. You are God's building. According to the grace of God, which has been given to me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another builds on it. But let each one take heed how he builds on it. For no other foundation can anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if anyone builds on this foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, each one's work will become clear. For the day will declare it because it will be revealed by fire, and the fire will test each one's work of what sort it is. If anyone's work, which he has built on it, endures, he will receive a reward. If anyone's work is burned, he will suffer loss, but he himself will be saved yet so as through fire. Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone defiles the temple of God, God will destroy him, for the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. That's it for this one, and I'll see you next time.